What's going on guys, Nico here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to compose beautiful emotional melodies like Elenium using one simple trick. So make sure you watch this video till the very end. You're not gonna wanna miss out on anything. I'm gonna show you the melody right now that is being played on the piano. Before we jump in, want to let you guys know I'm giving away a thousand melodies royalty free. Comment down below, Melody Mastery. I select one winner from the comments every Friday. Jumping into our melody here. So this song was originally in the key of A major, F sharp minor. I've transposed it to be only on the white key. So we are operating now in C major and the relative minor is A minor. First thing we do whenever we're creating an emotional melody is I start off with the chord progression. Why? I'll make sense in a second. So the chord progression I chose here was A minor, F, C, G. Extremely popular chord progression. Elenium uses it a lot in his music as well as Avicii, Kygo, Martin Garrix, etc. So something that you can do whenever you create a chord is you use a strategy. You start off with the root note and then you follow the simple strategy to build out your chord. What I've done here is I've actually created two chords that are power chords. This means they have no third and I'll show you what I mean. Listen to this A power chord. Is it major or minor? We don't know till we add in our third. So if it's gonna be a minor chord, we use the two, three strategy. I count up two notes in between and three notes in between. Now listen. We know this is a minor chord, but I left these open because open sounds nice. It sounds beautiful, it sounds a little bit mysterious too. So these first two chords are open chords. And right here, we actually have a unique chord. This is supposed to be a C major chord. However, at the bottom, the root note is a G, that's that's confusing, why? So we're using inversions right here. I basically took notes and I octave jumped them up. Look at this, I'm gonna drag the C and the E. I'm bringing them down an octave to create what would be a C major chord. So whenever we create inversions, we take these notes and jump them up octaves. Now look what we've done here. We take the C up an octave, the E up an octave. And it creates a different sound in chord. It's almost like a completely different chord. Now the reason why I used this inversion of C was because the next chord is gonna be a G. And you'll notice right here, these two root notes are the same, so it feels like a little bit of a resolve into the final chord. Listen in. Now I could have made this more beautiful if I made a cluster chord, a sus chord, but we won't get into that. Now jumping into the melody, here's the one thing that I wanna to say to all you guys out there. If you're watching, you literally, this is a gold mine trick, gold mine. All right, I'm gonna make this unmuted. Whenever you have a melody you're writing, all I'm doing here is I'm going back and forth between some note in the key and the root note of C. Look at this, C. It just goes back and forth. Like if you're playing on the piano in front of you, all you have to do is follow this like melody starter right here. It's an arpeggiation almost. And the one thing that I always tell you is the one five one arpeggiation is literally the best in the world. Look, I'll show you. This is our one, our five, and we go here. Listen to how beautiful this sounds. So if I replaced like these, these notes right here, look at this, and I brought this in, So basically this Arp Heaven gives me this idea right here. This is how I create the melody. It's not that hard. Now, what's going on here? I'm just arpeggiating going from the one to the seven and the notes will now have like the numbers on here to the five three, two, one. It's just going back and forth. See, it's very simple. And Elenium does this in a lot of his music, especially in the introductions. This is basically a form of arpeggiation. And it's, it's, it's really simple, guys. Now, 
I'm going to transpose this back and show you guys other things that I did during this introduction to really beautify this melody and surround it with nice, high quality sounds. Let me just bring it back. Oh, and I also have this top melody right here that I used from The Giant. Fantastic piano to make your uh, piano sound beautiful. I'll play them together real quick. I believe I transposed it all. Let's see. Okay. It's a little bit quiet. I'm gonna mute these now because the rest of the track is actually all in the proper key. Now, let me show you what else is going on here. So, we have a lot of effects going on. We have a lot of different cashmere symbol transitions here. If I just highlight the effects bus, listen to how this sounds. So these transitions are really creating a really nice thing. And this lead piano here goes with it. So having all these different effects transitions, whether it be any, anything really from cashmere, right? I use cashmere all the time. These really create the nice ambiance behind it. I also have a reverse going into this. Now listen to this. I'm gonna just solo this so you can hear the reverse by itself. And then I have more reverses on the way out. Really good to just suck the listener in. I love using these reverses. Now, all together, I use Winona Oak's vocals right here. Uh, I took it, I chopped it up a bit, and I also, oh, going down here, I actually recorded myself playing the bass guitar. And if we listen to this, I'm just sliding around a little bit. And I'm basically playing the bass along with my piano and everything else like that. Yeah, I started learning bass guitar. I said, might as well. We throw in the vocal lead right here. And I also have, I think I muted it, but Siren's vocal, where is she? Siren has a really good, uh, unfreeze it. Let's unmute it. She has a really good vocal pack on splice that you can use. And it's just a consistent drone note. So when you listen to this all together, So hopefully we don't get this taken down because I used her vocal. I don't think we used enough of it too. But basically I chopped up her vocal, found good parts in my mind. And so let me put these together here. And if you also notice right here, the nah, I don't know why I did it this way, but I basically delayed it. So if you listen here, and I have them panned left, right, and then down the center with the volumes decreasing on each one. Again, these are all the subtle things that we're doing to make this nice, beautiful intro, and the mel it surrounds the melody and just makes it all the better. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's really not that challenging to make really beautiful melodies. You just need the toolbox, which is what we're doing on this channel for you. So if you enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe down below, leave a comment, turn the notifications bell on, help me with this YouTube algorithm so we get this in front of as many people as possible. With all that being said, comment down below. Again, melody mastery, and I look forward to seeing you next time.